Greetings, good afternoon. This is JV the Militant Negro and I have to talk today about Miss Renee Davis. Miss Renee Davis was a 23 year old pregnant woman, five months pregnant, living on the Muscle Shoot Tribal Reservation. And at 6.30 p.m., cops arrived at her house. King County Sheriff deputies arrived at her house on tribal land, which should be off limits to them because tribal land should have tribal police. But anyway, these King County Sheriff's deputies arrived at her house at 6.30 Friday night because a concerned person called them saying that she had texted earlier the night that she was depressed and upset. So this person who she texted to, I suppose, I'm assuming, called the police for a wellness check, which means they're supposed to go to her house, check on her, see if she's okay, then take their ass back to the donut shop or drinking coffee in their squad car talking about their wives. Instead, they executed this pregnant woman who, when you kill a pregnant woman and the fetus isn't saved, that's double murder. So somebody who was concerned about Miss Russ, Renee Davis, called the cops to check on her. And they ended up killing her, executing her. Because it is alleged that she was an avid hunter, had weapons in the house, and allegedly had a handgun in her hand. And had two or three children in the house with her. Now this is all cops say so. Because we don't know what was going on. We're just told this is what happened. My issue with this is this, if a person is mentally ill or in a suicidal frame of mind, you talk to them, you negotiate, you bargain, you beg, you don't kill them because your trigger finger is itchy. This woman was pregnant, so taking her life also takes the life of her unborn child. As a side note, where are the pro-life people, the anti-abortion folks who want to scream and shout and protest and bomb clinics because they want unborn fetuses to be saved? Where are they at? I hear crickets. Okay, getting back to the main issue here. Were this a Caucasian pregnant woman, she would still be alive right now. But because Renee Davis was Native American and by her photographs looks Negro, she's dead. Where are the Native American protesters about this? It's disgusting. Hashtags are something I'm sick of using on social media. Friday night, this young woman's life was taken because she was mentally unstable. But let's think about it for a moment. She's five months pregnant. Maybe she was hormonal. Maybe she was depressed because of the hormones kicking in from the pregnancy. She got a handgun in the house and supposedly in her hand. Does that mean you kill her? Do you not have a conversation to try to ascertain what the problem is, how she's feeling, what's going on? Maybe even ask if the pregnancy isn't making her depressed. I got some information and some advice for you guys. Do not dial 911 and ask for cops. Do not call the police. You call the police, you die. It's very simple. Don't call the police. And whoever called the police for a wellness check on this woman, Renee Davis, essentially is the person who killed her coupled with the cop who pulled the trigger you can't call the police in 2016 because if it's a person of color you're calling them about they will be dead no cop is going to talk to them about what's going on they pull the trigger they don't taser they don't subdue they don't shoot to wound they shoot to kill don't call the police that's the bottom line. You guys be safe, be well, stay alive, 
नमस्कार